Not always. No, but you know what? Right now, is, <coughs> it, it, and there's always exceptions, and there's always you look at a song and you go, Karen told me this was going to happen and it didn't. Well, that's because the composer just decided to do something different. But generally, songs work like that. And if, if you're like me, I am a note reader. I was not, I never thought I could be an ear player. Never. I also had a really hard time when I started playing chords. I couldn't get them fast enough. They just, I learned, I learned chords one at a time. Memorize, it's like reading. You know, some kids learn phonics and some kids learn to memorize the words. Now my son learned to memorize the words. He was a mess by the time he got to fifth grade. He couldn't remember what he, re what he read. Okay, because they taught him in school how to memorize the words, okay? So he, then he had to relearn them as phonics. For me, I learned, here's the spots, there's the notes, play the notes, song comes out. Never occurred to me that there was patterns that happened. Had I known that at the beginning, when I was learning chords, I would have known that a C chord, if it was a C7, the next chord would be F. And a G7, have you ever wondered why G7 is the first chord you ever learn? It is, isn't it? You see G7 chord all the time. C chord and F are, sometimes you see C7, because C7 always goes to F, but the one to the left is called the dominant seventh. <coughs> so in the key of C, G is the dominant chord, and it's always a seventh. So that's why G7 is the first chord most beginners learn. All right, so if I'm just gonna play did you say Barney Google follows this pattern? Uh, no. Okay. <laughs> Barney Google is, is uh, it goes to G, back and forth. It, G but it's a, what I said was it's an extremely simple pattern. The progression is like five foot two. It's very, it repeats itself. That's one of the reasons uh, uh, the song is, is really like five foot two. It's short. You can, race through Barney Google just as quickly as you can race through five foot two. It's just a, so you have to embellish the song to make it a little bit uh, uh, more interesting, I think. Okay, so listen, let's do, um, remember we did the one, six, two, five, one chord progression? Okay, watch. C chord, A minor seven. Where does it go? Where does A minor seven go? D, D minor seven. I'm demoing a piano, 
or an organ, and I start to talk to the customer, my fingers just get disjointed, and I can't, they won't work. Uh. I don't know how people sing and play. It, it just doesn't work for me. My brain short circuits. All right, so let's play Fly Me to the Moon. Okay. Oh. <coughs> Karen, yeah. did you have to memorize that this FC7 goes to a Yeah, yeah that's to why I gave you this paper. Okay, and you had to memorize that a regular C goes to an A. Well, you just gotta, you gotta hear it. <coughs> hear it, hear it. Hear it. Right, you have to just hear, you, you gotta trust yourself. And trust me, trust me. For me, that was the hardest thing, was the word trust in most people's life. That's a biggie, isn't it? You have to trust other people. You have to trust God. You have to trust things are going to be fine. You have to, trust is an issue that I think everybody has. Somebody hurts your feelings, you know, or or lies to you. In music, you have to trust your instincts if you think you have any. All right, that's the key because most note readers don't think they have any. They know they can read the notes. But go to a college and, and listen to these kids that play classical music. Yeah. Take their music away from them and see if they can play by ear, a classical piece. Just, uh, do you know how many teachers that we deal with that we tell them, can you play this simple little song? And they go, oh no, I need music. Or they come in here to look at a piano, to buy a piano, and I say, well, play something. Oh, I can't play without music. Now, I know in their hearts they would love to because nobody taught them to trust their instincts. Everybody has musical instincts, don't you think? I do. You can certainly tell if I play something wrong. If you come and you listen to Greg's concert and he makes a boo-boo, you can hear it, can't you? I, I, no? <laughs> yeah, you could if he made yeah. a big enough one, yes. You can tell if they're off the rhythm. Uh, most people who don't even know music can tell if it's bad. That's why I love to watch American Idol. And you got it now. This is the last week. Tonight they're kicking off nine people, and they're down to the final ones, 12. Okay? okay. If you watch American Idol, it is such a education in music because these kids have to stay true to themselves, they, they have to stay on pitch, they have to stay on tempo, they have to have a musical attitude, and the judges keep telling them the same thing over and over and over. You have to stay true to what kind of music you are, what you are. If you like big band, like Greg, you know, Greg likes happy up music. And because he did stay true to that, he won. He, he stuck with what he knows. And he trusted his instincts, and he went with it. Okay. On American Idol, the kids that try to sing over what they do, or sing two songs that are too old that don't fit their personalities, they're gone. Yeah. See, and there afterwards they go, oh, I should have. Yeah. When you're an adult learning how to play, you got to trust yourself. You actually have more instincts than you think you have. You can sit at an instrument and actually play with no music. It's so simple. You just start, you tell, you got to tell the organ what key you want to play in. So we're going to play Fly Me to the Moon. First thing, you got to know the song in your head. Can you hear it? Yeah. Fly me, I can't sing, so if this is going on a video, I'm in real big, big trouble. Fly me to the moon and the me da 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 In other words, please be true. Now that sounds... I have to be honest with you, I haven't tried it. I just, the song just popped to my head. So let's see what happens. Here's the process. You play a C chord because I am in control. Most people sit and they try and figure out the melody and then they can't ever find the chords because they're in the key of H flat. They don't know where they are. So you start with a C chord. 